Welcome back to MSN Construction YouTube channel, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss the process of designing a reinforced concrete slab according to the British standard BS 8110. So, let's get started. The first step in designing a slab is to determine the design parameters. These include the type of structure, its purpose, the imposed loads, and the material properties such as concrete and reinforcement strength. Once we have the design parameters, we move on to calculating the characteristic loads. This involves determining the dead load, which is the weight of the slab itself and any fixed loads, as well as the imposed live load based on occupancy and usage. Next, we need to determine the design moments. This is done by considering the loading conditions and support conditions, whether it's a one-way or two-way spanning slab. The span length, support conditions, and load distribution all play a role in calculating the design moments. Now that we have the design moments, we can determine the effective span. The effective span is the distance between points of contraflexure or zero moment. It's crucial in calculating the slab thickness. With the effective span determined, we move on to calculating the minimum slab thickness. BS8110 provides a maximum span to effective depth ratio, and we need to ensure the calculated thickness satisfies this requirement. Now, let's talk about steel reinforcement. We need to design the reinforcement based on the design moments and the required reinforcement ratios. It's important to distribute the reinforcement properly in both directions. After determining the reinforcement, we need to check two crucial factors, deflection and crack width. We analyze and ensure that the deflection of the slab meets the specified limits in BS8110. Additionally, we check the crack width requirements for durability and aesthetics. Finally, we move on to detailing and construction. This involves providing detailed drawings and specifications for the reinforcement, including bar sizes, spacing, cover, and lap lengths. It's crucial to follow proper construction practices during the placement and curing of concrete. And that's the basic process of designing a reinforced concrete slab according to BS 8110. Remember, this is just an overview, and it's essential to consult the standard and work with a qualified structural engineer for detailed design. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or need further guidance, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching my channel, MSN Construction, and don't forget to subscribe for more engineering related content. Until next time, take care and keep designing. Thanks for watching.